Sunday, October 22nd. Um, we are having probably one of the most amazing uh, seasons for mushrooms this year. Uh, walking through the forest today, I, I just uh, <laughs> I can't believe the pr proliferation of the mushrooms here on Vancouver Island. Uh, the uh, patches of um, short-stemmed russulas are just endless. They seem to be everywhere and the size of the mushrooms, they're huge. Um, seeing lots of mushrooms that in, in some seasons you'd only see a, a few of uh, and seeing great numbers of them. I've seen lots of uh, uh, admirable bolites and um, the uh, blood milk caps. Uh, just re really a lot of those that I, you know, usually in, in the season might only see, uh, you know, half a dozen. And uh, walking through this particular part of the forest, I uh, I <laughs> saw these orange beacons in the in the forest, and I came over, and they're they're lobster mushrooms, and they're just gigantic. Cause the first one I saw over there, and and then I came around this tree, and then there's this one, and they're, they're just beautiful to look at. So I'm just going to give you a little peek here. some idea of the size of it. Another one here. And another big one right over there. Which is See not this quite old big. log here uh, almost completely uh, decomposed into the into the soil. Uh, just more like a hump in the forest. And that's the traditional habitat for the Admirable Belit, and there is an Admirable Belit right here. See the traditional coloring on that uh, cap, kind of a purpley color with those spots, and you can see it's very sort of soft, almost velvety look to it. Considered to be one of the choice mushrooms here on Vancouver Island. Perhaps the happiest sign uh, in the woods uh, today is the uh, first uh, appearance of the, uh, the little belly button hedgehog mushrooms. And uh, they're my absolute favorite. And there's uh, four of them just showing up here. So I'll give you a little peek of that. 